what's going on guys comments if you would like to see that and how I do it um, and I will make a video on that but today I'm going to focus on a quicker technique that doesn't involve as much so I'm going to go ahead and drop my photo in and so what you will notice immediately is that this photo is a JPEG okay so the image contains exit orientation metadata you want the original or you want to rotate it and I want it rotated. So what you will notice is that this is in fact a JPEG that I'm putting in. So uh, hold control and scroll on my mouse. Um, and the reason why I'm doing a JPEG is because since this video is focused on retouching, then I don't want to have to focus on bringing back uh, the raw file to something that's already more complete like this um, since this video is focused on retouching I have everything kind of already with the uh, presets from straight out of the camera and so I can go right into the meat of the subject now as always we start with the right hand side I'll treat it like any other photo here I have my base layer so I will click two times and add two copies and then I'll turn this off so you can always go back to the original layer now I'm gonna hit control key and scroll in on my mouse uh, for the Mac users I'm sorry um, I think it may be control as well um, so without using frequency separation the tools that I use are the healing tool and also a filter I love to keep some texture in the face here you can see the model has some dark spots some craters uh, some acne here and there and so we want to smooth that out to make the picture look as flawless as possible but also keep some type of texture there so the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to the left hand side and click the hill tool now for these places here I want my brush at a 75 so I can click and go to 75 of hardness and I am completely okay with that okay now the space the size of the brush I'm going to actually go down because I don't want it to be as big I'm gonna hit the control key in the scroll bar and I'm going to actually go to my first area. So I always try to keep everything uniform. So the the area that I'm going to select that I want the hill to to copy to cover like this is it for instance, I want to stay in the same field. So I'm going to get as close to the uh, pimple that is right here and clone the skin that is the clearest, that's the closest so that there isn't a huge difference in the skin tone. So I'm going to hit control, select here, and then I'm just going to drag down and do a left click on my mouse. And you see that is pretty smooth. And now I'm going to do the same thing here to all of these spots. And every time I'm reselecting, so I'm hitting control, holding control, left click and then selects my sample area that I want to uh, copy and then I click the area that I want it to uh, override so here I'll go ahead get, go again hold control left mouse click go over the area that I want to adjust and left click it there now you see here is actual indentation and so 
since I already have this area selected, I could just left click it and boom. And this is this is pretty uniform skin area over here. So a few clicks will not hurt. And now I'll probably reselect this. And you see how that kind of made a uh, dark spot. So what I'll do is I'll go to file and uh, edit and I'll do a undo heal. And then we're back to square one. Okay. And so you all can do the same thing. I'll probably speed this section up because I'll be doing the same thing. Okay, so now at this point, I'm pretty happy with the skin uh, area that I repaired. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to merge these layers. And now, just so that you can see the before and after, I'm going to turn on this layer and then I'm going to turn on turn off the top layer and this really brings perspective to the changes that you made now these make the skin look a lot more uh, phenomenal for the photos and so from here this is a nice retouch especially from what uh, what we started with here. So now what I like to do is I'm going to turn the layer off. I'm going to add another copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go up to the filters tab, go to blur and select Gaussian blur. And on the X axis, I normally go to about two or three. Three is good. You can see that blur. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. Now, we are going to create a mask and only select the area that we want. Again, 
like I said, I love to keep some texture. So I'm going to right click on this top layer and I'm going to click add layer mask. I want black full transparency and I'm going to click add. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to the panel and select this paintbrush tool. And I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool. I'm going to make sure I have the white uh, tab as my uh, paint color. I'm going to go to the brush and I want the brush to be soft. So I'm going to go to 25% hardness. 25% hardness should do me just fine. I will bump up the size of the brush a little bit just to increase the area affected. And I'm just going to lightly brush over her skin. And I'll minimize it and come right, come right on the bridge of the nose. Uh, and I'll do some of the forehead and I actually like to get some of that in there and so that would be enough for me now of course you can get the neck and you know all of these areas right here But keep in mind that the full perspective of this image is from all the way back here. So um, adding those details do help. But now, so I've added kind of my blur and uh, this is more of a smooth skin technique. So I'm going to merge these layers. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I want to show the difference again. So we are here. And now we came from this. So huge difference. Huge difference. Okay, so now I'm going to take off this and so just to finish this off um, I will go ahead and go to let's see colors tab go to saturation I might bump up the saturation a little bit yeah I'm liking that. It's giving me a little bit more pop. Okay. And I'm liking this tone here. Now, this is how I retouch photos without going in depth with frequency separation, um, as a lot of people do. Um, this right here is actually beneficial for me when I want to do something really quick. Or I've had uh, some quick uh, blemishes that I need to get off. I can't beat this look right here. Going from this to this. And then also, of course, if you have a more of a headshot, you go into more detail. Um, I also uh, use the adjustment curves to uh, increase the uh, filling of the eyelids and the uh, eyebrows and if you would like to see that leave a comment below and I can show you how I use the adjustment curve and I might make that uh, the next video tutorial that I do in GIMP. So I hope you like this. I hope that this tutorial is useful to, some, to someone trying to get that smooth